as we welcome you inside Collins Corner, inside the Next One studio for nextones.com. I'm Colin Brown. Delighted to be with you this afternoon as we begin our tour across the college basketball landscape, talking about mid-major teams that will have stellar 2021 seasons moving forward. There's a lot to get to. It will not just be one show here at Collins Corner. We will continue to dive into the mid-major ranks as we inch closer and closer to the college basketball season. But I wanted to get started tonight because a few teams have been on my mind, or more than a few, and I wanted to start covering them here as we sit just over two weeks away before tip-off. And I'm going to start with Wes Miller and UNC Greensboro. They return one of the best mid-major players in all of college basketball, Isaiah Miller, who averaged over 17 points per game. And let's not get it twisted. He is the best player in the SOCON. And I've been very vocal talking about the SOCON over the last few years. There has been some depth in this conference, some quality competition. You look at the likes of Furman and East Tennessee State, another team that could have made a run in last season's NCAA tournament. But nonetheless, UNC Greensboro, the favorite heading into the season. And I think this team behind Isaiah Miller could do some damage and make a run in the NCAA tournament. All right, let's switch gears, hit the Midwest, the Missouri Valley, and talk Northern Iowa, another team that last season was right on the verge of getting into the NCAA tournament. Would have been interesting to see if they got in after losing in the Missouri Valley Conference tournament. I think they would have been on the outside looking in, but they have a bona fide star in A.J. Green. He is the best player in the MVC. Heading into the season, averaged just under 19 points per game. But the key here is Northern Iowa has some playmakers alongside Green that I think will take some of the burden off his shoulders. You look down low at Austin Fife, a rebounding machine, does a lot of the dirty work for the Panthers. And then a guy out on the perimeter to help free up A.J. Green and take some of the scoring burden off his shoulders from the perimeter would be a guy by the name of Trey Burhau, a stroker, guy who can really shoot it from range, keep the defense honest. I think he will be key moving forward for you and I as well. The question now becomes, can the Panthers get over the hump in the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament? A.J. Green has gone twice and came home empty-handed twice, really dashing his chances to get in to the NCAA Tournament. We'll see if they can get it done this year. There will be heavy competition. And you look at Loyola Chicago, another team that will be right there with UNI. But A.J. Green, one of the best guards we have in college basketball, one of the best mid-major stars, as you and I will look to get back to the NCAA Tournament. All right, let's make our way back to the East Coast and stop in Kentucky and talk Hilltopper Hoops. Western Kentucky, and this year I think is the year that the Hilltoppers will reach the NCAA tournament. Charles Bassey back in the fold. Not many people talking about Mr. Bassey at the end of last season, excuse me, last season. And he comes in this season as one of the best, most talented mid-major players in all of college basketball and one of the highest ranked NBA draft prospects from the mid-major ranks. Great size at 6'11", can stretch the floor, that length and athleticism to finish above the iron. He is a problem for any college opponent that Western Kentucky faces. But there's more than just Charles Bassey to this Western Kentucky team. And I'm going to talk first about Tavian Hollingsworth. He is a star at the guard spot and a do-it-all guy for this Hilltopper squad. A guy who averaged 16 points, shot 47% from the field last season, a defensive stopper. And then keep in mind, Western Kentucky had six players average double figures a year ago. Much of that production returns this season. I think Western Kentucky will get to the NCAA tournament, and if they are healthy and clicking on all cylinders, could definitely pick up some wins in the big dance. All right, let's stay out east and talk right state out of the Horizon League. A next one's athlete, one of my favorite players in all of college basketball, the reigning player of the year, Loudon Love, is much of the reason why Wright State gets this bid and is considered a favorite to come out of the Horizon League and get into the NCAA tournament. 
a do-it-all, double-double machine guy who has transformed his body over the course of his college career. Again, he does so much on both ends of the floor, rim protects, scores in transition, scores in the painted area, can hit from the mid-range, just a talented playmaker for the Raiders. He will be counted on again to lead this squad, and there will be talent. Northern Kentucky will be right behind Wright State, but I think the Raiders will get it done at the end of the day and reach the NCAA tournament as Loudon Love continues to become a star at the mid-major level. Let's make our way over to the MAC and talk Bowling Green and what a season it could be for Bowling Green. They got great news at the end of last season. Justin Turner, their star, enters his name in the transfer portal, decides to come back to school for his senior season, something we really haven't seen where a mid-major star decides to put his name in the portal, had big-time offers to go play elsewhere inside the Power Five, but yet decided to come back to school, unfinished business. I spoke with Justin Turner at the end of last season, and he has a chip on his shoulder. This team has a chip on their shoulder. They are anxious and eager to get back on the floor, and there's more to Bowling Green than just just Justin Turner, excuse me as well. They have a second team All-Mac performer in Daquan Plowden, a big time playmaker on both ends of the floor, and Trey Diggs who can really stretch the floor and fill it up from deep as well, just to name a few. So this Bowling Green team is special. They could have a very special season and they have a star to lead the way in Justin Turner. They could be a team to make a run in the big dance. All right, let's stay out east as we have here of late and talk one of my favorites heading in to the college basketball season, a team with two big-time playmakers, bucket-getters, do-it-all players in Austin P. and that's the reigning player of the year, Terry Taylor, a big-time player, and this guy deserves a lot more attention than he has garnered throughout the course of his career. He started to urge his way onto the national landscape, but I think he will really hit center fold this season. And boy, oh boy, a double-double machine can score from all three levels. A talented guy who entered his name in the NBA draft, but decided to come back to school, and he will be playing alongside the freshman of the year in the league as well, and that's Jordan Adams. Averaged over 17 points per game as a freshman, set all kinds of records for Austin P. He is back. They have two of the best mid-major players on the same squad here ending into the season, and they are the favorite in the Ohio Valley. I expect Austin P. to make their way in the NCAA tournament, and once again, this is another talented squad with solid depth that could make a run if their name is called on Selection Sunday. Go inside to the big guy, Bassey. Bassey draws it down. Look, I be riding through my old hood.